Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Galashin coming to you on this beautiful snow day. I am coming to you from the woods of my house and you'll probably hear my kids are outside enjoying the snow today too. They're tobogganing down the hill and building snowmen and trying to cooperate too, which is kind of tough when you're at home with your brothers and sisters today. Well, I hope that today you get to settle in with a story and if you don't, I am going to bring you a story to share. And it's one of my favorite snowy stories. It's called George and the Snowy Day. George woke up to a wonderful surprise. It had snowed all night. Just like you guys. I bet you woke up and were very surprised to see all the snow today. <clears throat> George was curious about all that clean white snow. Maybe he could build something out of it. You go outside, George, said the man with the yellow hat. I'll make us some cocoa for later. This was gonna be a perfect day. George went out to play. Whoa-oh, uh he sank right into the fluffy powder. Has that ever happened to you boys and girls where you've gone and jumped into the snow and it was so deep you sank right through? happened to me before. Bill's friend and neighbor, jo uh, Bill, came by. He did not have any trouble walking on the snow. Hey, George, Bill said, I have an extra pair of cross-country skis if you want to borrow them. Then Bill showed George how to ski by making zigzags through the snow. George could not wait to try it for himself. Have you ever gone cross-country skiing, boys and girls? I've gone downhill skiing. That was pretty fun. <clears throat> oh, it's getting windy out here. With the skis, George could stay on top of the snow, and he followed Bill uphill. Suddenly, they heard a noise. Oink, oink, oink. Can I hear your best pig sound? Let's hear. Oh, those are some very good pig sounds. Good job. Bill said, I'm going to go find out what that noise was. You wait here. George waited at the top of the cold hill. His house looked so small and warm. George wanted to get home for his cocoa. Was Bill going to come back? George looks a little worried, doesn't he? George, Bill shouted from the bottom of the hill. I couldn't find whatever made that sound, but I've heard, but I have to head home now. Keep the skis and have fun. So George did for a while. When George was tired, he skied down the hill toward home until he hit a rock. His skis flew off and George tumbled the rest of the way down. Ooh, that's not fun. Good thing snow is soft and fluffy. Rocks are not soft and fluffy, are they? <clears throat> George picked himself up at the bottom of the hill. What would he do now? He spotted two children pulling a sled. They were walking on the snow, but they didn't have skis. How did they do it? It had to be those, those wide, flat shoes they wore. Vinny, I think he likes our snowshoes, the girl said. George nodded. Vicky and I live on the other side of the hill, said Vinny. If you come home with us, we'll lend you our snowshoes so you can get home too. Climb aboard our sled. Well, that's awfully kind, isn't it? It was fun to sail down another hill, but now George was even farther from his house. There you go, monkey, Vicky said. She gave George her snowshoes and climbed on the sled. Bye, monkey. Good luck. Poor George. What a long way he has to go. George began his long journey home. He was cold and tired and climbing up the hill was hard work. The thought of a nice steaming cup of hot cocoa kept him going. Oink. Let's hear that pig sound again. Really good. George looked up. There was that noise again. So he decided to follow it. <gasps> Look what he found boys and girls. A cold lost pig. 
What was he going to do out here all by himself? And how could George rescue the poor pig? George remembered how Vicky and Vinny had rescued him. What George needed was a sled. It had to be flat and big enough for the pig to sit on. A fallen sign nearby looked like a good choice. What a ride. Have a look. What an inventive idea, George. When George got home, he found his neighbor, Farmer Rankins, talking to the man in the yellow hat. Thanks for bringing my pig home, George, the farmer said. He got out last night before it snowed. Good work, George, said the man with the yellow hat. There's some hot cocoa waiting for you inside. And that was exactly what George had hoped to hear. Are you boys and girls enjoying some hot chocolate today? I know I will be when I go inside. Skiing, snowshoeing, and hot, and now cocoa? It had been the perfect snow day. And check it out. You can pause the video if you want to learn how to make a paper snowflake. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed my Curious George book as much as I do on these snowy days. And I hope you do lots of reading today and enjoy some of the activities Mrs. Lachlan and I sent you. And in the meantime, just get outside, have fun, but most of all, be safe. We love you guys. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.